When do you think it started, folks? Washington's 106.7 WJFK. Here starts Ron and Fez. Okay, good. You're in for that, right? Ron and Fez. Uh, Fezzy, you wanted to see some pictures of our own Harry Elvis. Who, uh, Harry, what do you say you weigh now? Uh, 240. 240, and you're in pretty good shape for yourself. You're heading towards being in good shape. Fezzy, here he is, graduation day. Get a load of that face and head. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that is, I'm sorry, you know, I, I don't mean to be extra mean. I just had to be descriptive. That's Rikishi's face. Yeah. That, look at the size of that gullet on there. Uh, how old are you here, Harry? Uh, 18. Again, all graduation, the day right after graduation. All right, here he is in a nice, it's summertime, and he's in a nice sweaty shirt. Oh, wow, you are gigantic. Yeah. You are, and look at that, just sweating right through it, too. You're absolutely right. And, you know, uh, three bills in high school. That's too bad. Yeah, it, was, uh, it, was really, it was a really bad time. It doesn't even look like you have arms in this picture. Like a T-Rex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just little just little nubs. Here you are with a couple cute girls, same uh, age, 18. Yeah, same age uh, from the graduating class. And the two of them together actually like look the same size I am in that photo, which is really like... Wow, yeah, look yeah. at how big you are. Yeah, you were really big. The weird, th the scary you were thing, unhealthy big. The scary thing is that diabetes runs in my family on my mother's side. Nothing runs in your family. Look at the size. <laughs> of this kid. You think, Fezzi? You think that helps? You think that's going to help? <laughs> Getting me through. It. But right in this picture, look at this. Look at how big he is. Look at the calves and the feet. Yeah. You have big, gigantic, fat feet. Yeah, I actually, I was looking for shoes for prom, and it was a problem because I couldn't find shoes that would, that would fit my you, wide feet. You should have used two kindergartners. Now the... Lace uh, them up. You would actually gain weight in your feet. Yeah, it was... It was yeah, because you look time. really swollen there. All right, here he is back at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> and look at the sweat pouring off him, Fuzz. Oh, my gosh, in every picture, you are just drenched. I think that one, I don't know, I don't remember if I came out of the pool from that one or not. Oh, you're wearing long pants. Oh, came yeah. Came out of the pool. Because here he is. If you were in my pool, I'd throw you out. He's just soaked. Oh, wow. You are so big, kid. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe that. It looks like a different person. See, no one believed me. You thought I was exaggerating, but that, I was just immensely huge. I do believe you. <laughs> I do believe in blimps. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Uh, here is uh, some picture of him wearing a nice black suit, which is uh, helpful. It's the one suit I had because I couldn't. You know, it's it's, it's, it's weird. Anymore. Is you know you have like at such a young age, and how old are you in these pictures? Eighteen. Eighteen years old. Yeah. You have like a lot of those things like really fat older adults have. I mean, like you got that whole. I don't even know what you call this thing here, where you can't. There's no bulge. It's just hidden by you know another layer. Uh, like a pouch or something? I'm, uh, I guess like so. The, where the stomach carries over, you mean? Yeah, where you look bolus. You know how you see those really fat old guys and they look bolus? Uh, everything's yeah. just everything's just one round curve because, down below. Because they're fat like under their belt. Yeah, exactly. All right, thank you. Instead of having like some nice fat <laughs> hang over their belt. Right. They wear their pants high. Yeah. And all the fat is down where the pants are supposed to, uh, are. So it's just a big round ball down there. But they're not ballless. They have balls underneath there. I don't know. I think they may have gotten hungry and eaten those too. All right, now, uh, Fez, you like this? Here he is, uh, much smaller, uh, ten years old. <laughs> I'm looking at this and picture. And playing hockey. Oh God. All right. Oh, that's at 10 years old. So you, yeah. you're probably bigger at 10 or close to what you are now. Um, uh, how old are you now, kiddo? Now I'm uh, 20. Now you're 20. You look about the same size at age 10. Sure. What do you think you weighed there at age 10? I couldn't. 140, 160? I, the only thing I remember is like seventh grade, I weighed like 236. Why wow. Is, yeah. Whoa. Why in this picture are you wearing side view mirrors? That's what I don't understand. No, that's a truck. Oh, that's the truck. Yeah. I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm yeah. sorry. You're that's my fault. One. Well, it's great you've been able to lose all this weight like Jared. Yeah. I'm very yeah. proud of you. Uh, Harry Elvis, in this picture with the suit, you look like the kingpin. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you should be in Daredevil. This one is worse. Just look at my face on that one where I'm just... Oh, my gosh. So this is Who's why you're... the little old guy? You're that's still my virgin. grandfather. Um, that's part of the reason, yeah. It was, it What's was... the other part? The fact that maybe you like guys? No, no, not at all. That, uh, 
that I do not like guys. I'm totally into women. But it was just a, a thing. I couldn't get over the weight. And I still have a problem with the weight issue. I'm still... It's almost like an addiction for me. And I don't want to like, you know, because, you know, drugs and alcohol, those are real addictions. But that's the only one I've really ever had to face in my life so far. And it was really... It really even haunts me, like, still. Yeah, the chance that you're going to uh, keep this weight off is slim. Not, not, not a lot of people do it. That's the only thing slim in your life. <laughs> you think you're helping like that place? Seriously. This is actually to compare. This is uh, my younger brother. And you just look in the great shape he, he's in. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He's ripped. You sit around wishing you were your brother? Um, physically, Your yeah. brother looked like some Ecuadorian... Uh, uh, boxer. Yeah, yeah he, he looks boxes. like a, yeah, looks like a flyweight. He boxes. We've got a, He's got a heavy bag in his room and everything. That's the bag you're hiding the cookies in. <laughs> and here's a nice picture for some reason of Rosalind Carter in the background. A uh, framed picture of Rosalind Carter you're, on a table in your house. You're kidding me. <laughs> it looks just like her. Wow, what do you think the deal is with the genetics? Now, are your parents huge? No, not at all. They're not huge. Uh, I mean, a couple people on my mother's side are a little a little bit bigger, so I guess that's where I got it. But, like, him, even if he's ripped there because he works out constantly, but even if right. he never worked out a day in his life, he'd be thin. And yeah. the younger one, the nine-year-old, is just like him. He's just in a... He's already got, like, abs. Just natural... Abs. I, I think like, I think no. you're a little too much into your brothers, and I don't know why you're carrying around snapshots of your shirtless siblings. That's very uncomfortable. <laughs> he can't he can't wait to take off his shirt during a photo, and I, I sort of can't blame him. How about you? No, I uh, I don't wait. think you put two more on. Yeah, you can't wait. <laughs> you can't wait for him to take off his shirt. Wow, kid! In these pictures, at your heaviest, you look like you're 10 to 15 years older than you do now. Yeah. Did you used to get served in those days? Uh, yeah, I could. I could have if I wanted to. I would have served you. One of the things I never drank because of... A beer and a ham. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, Fezzi uh, had like a breakthrough last night. He blames everything that ever happened to him on his mom. Yeah. What do you think your problem was? I... Why were you feeling so bad as a young kid? I don't know. what. It... I think I was... There's actually... I just ate as a young kid. Like, there's actually home videos where... I'm like five, and uh, I'm literally going. <laughs> I, I'm literally going. Um, I'm hungry, mom. Can we get something to eat? And she's going. She's just shouting at me. You just ate 30 minutes ago. <laughs> and it's just from there on. It was just you know. All right. So you there was something that was just a voracious appetite in you. Yeah. I don't know where it was. I know I gained a tremendous amount more like uh, uh, before high school started for me. Actually, eighth grade I'd slimmed down to like 200 pounds, and then down we, to yeah. And then um, we, we moved to, like, Florida from Jersey City, and I just got all depressed, and all I did was eat. And uh -oh, just... Cuban bread. Yeah. Why were you depressed in Florida? It's I was just a nice place to be. It was, it was just, uh, I didn't want to move, and we ended up moving, and, uh, you know, high school was starting, and I hated high school, and I didn't know anyone. I just, I would just, you know, go home, and all, the only thing I looked forward to all day was going home, eating, and then watching reruns of SNL. And it was just, that was all I did. And eventually I just, you know, ballooned. I thought you were watching Double XL. What are you going to be mean? I'm sorry. Was that allowed? No. That was out loud, wasn't it? Yes. All right. I like this picture here. You're in your sweaty T-shirt holding a can of Diet Coke. <laughs> and that, you're 300 plus. That was the collective sweat. And I swear to you, looking at these pictures, Harry Elvis, I think, I think you were definitely over 300 pounds. Oh, no. I was uh, at, my, at the peak. I was like 325 or so. Yeah. Did you play football? No, I never... Uh, Did never you wanted... try? Did you consider it? No, because I never liked getting yelled at because I got yelled at enough at home. <laughs> so I... There we go. Yelled at at home before. Um, just, I would screw, I would screw things up, like just normal Chairs. Things. Breaking chairs. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, I never broke a chair, but I... Uh, you know, it was just... How was gym class for you at that weight? Gym class... I, the, the odd thing is I loved sports. I was, it was never a thing of me being just fat and lazy and not wanting to play sports. I loved sports, but I just just never... Uh, gym class was fun for me. And uh, one of the things we had to do, gymnastics, and at, like my size, no one expected me to do things like cartwheels and things like that. So you're John Belushi yeah. at this point. Yeah, you know who that is? Yes, I, I do. He's a soulman. And he, can, he knows Jim Belushi. Oh, okay. You're Jim Belushi at this <laughs> According point. According to Jim, I'm a big... <laughs> but, you know, for, it was never an issue of me staying that way. It was always haunting me. 
All right, let me ask you this. You're this big in high school. Mm. You're a very funny young man. Mm. Were you doing all the self-depreciating humor in high school? Were I'd you like, have to. Were you, like, making the jokes before someone else did? Yeah, I'd have to. I think I was harder on myself than anyone really was on me. What would you say about yourself? I don't even remember. Um, I mean, when you you said you enjoy playing the sports and the gymnastics. Yeah, I would do, like... Comments had yeah. to be made that day. I would do a lot of physical comedy more than anything else, because, yeah, I'd, especially in gym class, I would do... Yeah, I'd like your phone down. Yeah, falling down and then, you know, sliding into home for no reason during, like, wiffle ball, which uh, is unnecessary. People I, love to see a big man do that. Though. I can't imagine liking you. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a lot of friends. Just, you know. What was his name? <laughs> you got a lot of friends in these pictures, or at least these are people that were afraid not to pose with you. He read, read a lot of cute girls. Yeah, a lot of, um, I knew a lot of cute girls, but then... What did you used to do, rape them? No, no, it was too polite. <laughs> or too polite. He would too polite to rape. Isn't that nice? <laughs> he would always go up to the girls and say the same thing. You want to finish your potatoes? <laughs> One time I, when I was younger, in uh, like eighth grade, I actually got food poisoning because they were actually giving me like... It became a challenge of, of seeing what you, could, what you could give me that I could eat. And someone gave me a bad ham sandwich that I finished. <laughs> and I had food poisoning. <laughs> That didn't slow you down, though, did it? Did they no. give you some Is that kind the one you wanted? Yeah. Did they give you some kind of nickname? No, no one ever, um... No nickname. No one was... Re again, no one was really mean. I did chunks. get into... No. Did they call you Chunks? No. <laughs> chunks. <laughs> I did get into one or two fights. Uh, really? In Florida. Yeah, because people... And they were just mean to me, but I think it was more freshmen, but I mean... What would they say to you? It was the lunch lady. Wouldn't give him a second sloppy joe. I was... <laughs> I was... Carrying my lunch. Sloppy Joe was that nickname. <laughs> I'm keeping the one of the little brother, by the way. That's fine. <laughs> Say, take that back. No one had caught with that. It's a minor. All right, so what, what, what caused the fight? Uh, one time I was just carrying my lunch tray, and someone... <laughs> <laughs> Who was helping you? <laughs> he hired a crane. <laughs> well, go ahead, I'm sorry. I was carrying it, and someone just... Like, uh, knock my milk out of my hand. Oh, that must have made you furious. Knock yeah. the milk right out of your udders, huh? <laughs> Wasted food to you? Them fighting words! And what happened? But it just ended up being a fist fight. And... Yeah. Remember what the kid said to you? So, how do we look? Chubby? <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it did make um, trying to find a girlfriend hard. This was actually... But you still have it. I know. But I think Maybe that's you're more... sitting on her. All right, let me see this. This girl was your girlfriend? No, this is the girl I really I tried to go after. She's and... cute. That picture I noticed. She's she was a friend of mine too, and it was. Oh no, that's the little brother again. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's just like you couldn't compete. Like the guy she ended up going out with was like just under ripped three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was under three bills in high school. So you know how can you compete? Yeah, exactly. Mission Impossible. I mean, it wasn't like I was unpopular, but I, I did have, you know, I did actually had a lot of friends, but it was just, it was never translated into a girlfriend. Well, yeah. You'd eat them. <laughs> Even to this day, right? <laughs> no, this day, I think it's more still me being psychologically haunted by it, where I, I still don't think I'm at all good looking. You're a good looking guy. You see, I'm a... And I saw you working girls at the bar, but you're the one that I have always noticed. You put yourself down. I think it's, again, it's still a self, it's like a trailing off, you know, self-defense uh, mechanism that I just, uh, I've always had because I was always worried about it, you know. I didn't want to be, I, the one thing I hated was being made fun of. Just, you know, being made the butt of jokes. And really, that, Tubby? Fuzzy, right? please. What? Didn't we all stick by you when you were crying about your mother yesterday <laughs> like a big puss? Help this kid I'm out. just giving you the facts of life. I'm proud of this kid. Look how much weight he's lost. All right, but how much weight do you think... I'm afraid you're going to turn Tracy Gold anorexic, Harry Elvis. How much weight do you need to lose before you we, think the confidence is going to come around? We got four years before we got any kind of Tracy Gold club. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing, but... Right now he's in the rolled gold. <laughs> I, did, did try the, I did at one point try to make myself throw up, and it just never worked out. You tried to catch anorexia? Yeah, I Why don't you listen to your own act? <laughs> I, uh, like now. Where do you want to be? What's what's your goal weight? I, um, I think I'd, I'd like Human? to lose like forty more, forty more pounds. It's down to your seventh grade weight. Yeah, yeah. 
But like uh, I used to at that point I was wearing like size 50. You know, size 50. Why are you pointing jeans. at me? No, I was uh, the photo. Uh, the photo. Oh. I thought you were still looking at the photos. All right, you size 50 pants. What are you wearing now? Uh, size 42 pants, but now they're loose. So I'm looking forward to. And these are loose. <laughs> these are 34s, and they're loose. You realize you're doing um, stripes material to us. <laughs> you're Bill Murray. It's just I'm like Dewey Oxberger, but yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to. It's just... Always been a nerve-wracking thing for me, and I'm still yeah, well, trying to Yeah, well, you're doing great, man. Stop being hard on yourself. I'm afraid. I know. Congratulate yourself for what you've done so but far. But I do want to get you a check. And don't stop. I'm afraid if I le- like if I loosen up at all, that I'll just like collapse into a, you know just go back. You know, it'll all happen like that, and that's my fear. Like I'll just you know one day before I know it, be fat again, like really, really fat. You know, and that's. <laughs> what... <laughs> Quit that... trying to scare us. Really, really fat. You know, it's it's sort of like I said. It's sort of like an addiction for me. That's the only thing I've had to I'm battle. I'm sure it is. But you said you haven't really changed your eating. I I never really ate junk food again. It was just all rice and just a lot of it. Just a lot of you know, rice and beans and and just like uh, fried bananas. I, I remember my grandma's fried bananas. Food. Yeah, it's all it's all Spanish food. For the most part, I, I would do the fast food thing every once. Every once in a while, I have one thing that I do for like a week that I was really into. Like for one reason or another, I'd go to Checkers because they had like strawberry shakes, and that would be my thing you get for the obsessed. week. Yeah, and it was just—it's just all calories. And plus, my parents had bought a uh, a gas station with a convenience store, and then that was just like all snack food. That was just to fuel you. Yeah, <laughs> Fuzzy, you're not helping at all. I'm going to tell you the truth. You're not helping him. I'm doing my best. He wants to be helped. He's doing great. I find it interesting that you would get addictions inside your addictions. Like yeah. you get the strawberry shake thing. It's just, you know, anything that tasted good, I had to have <laughs> I had to have a lot of it for some reason. Like I couldn't just I couldn't enjoy like one piece of pie. And that's like again the reason I won't drink well, who like can. <laughs> but like some people can't and it just Would you eat a whole pie? Half a pie. Yeah. yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, half what kind? Time. What kind's your favorite? Um, I, I, oh. I, I liked uh, <laughs> I liked either apple pie or like cheesecake. I would eat, and cheesecake is just like the just nothing but calories, you know. Just and I I actually ate like almost half the cheesecake once, and it was just one of those tragic moments where I'm literally sitting <laughs> and going, "This is wrong. This is so wrong." I Weird love- that you would have that feeling so young. Yeah, well, he was just a kid when he went through all this. And you're realizing that, you know, not just, I, I just really like cheesecake, and I yeah. hope there's more cheesecake, but you're realizing at that point, hey, this is, there is something horribly wrong here. And it's, I'm crying in the chocolate syrup. You're lucky you didn't eat a bullet. And it's like, you would have had every right to. And I still have, sometimes I still have those sort of urges. Like, uh, one time on the show, we had uh, people from, like, Medix come, and they brought these chocolate covered cheesecakes. And I, you know, I tried one. Like, I didn't eat lunch that day, so I could eat one. And then we had a lot left over, and we left them in the fridge in the office. And any time I'd have to go back there, it was just haunting me that I couldn't... I'd have to look at it and go, no, you know, I'd actually pick it up, and then... I remember that night. You asked the Needix guy to adopt you. Take me home, and wonderful person. Like, the only thing that'll stop me is if sometimes if I'll flip over the box and look at the calories, and that'll sort of, like, you know, give me a, a moment of going, you know, that's... It'll put a number on it, and then I'll go... All right, I can't, you know. And then I'd have to run. I'd have to actually physically run out of the office to make sure I wasn't in the... But you don't count calories or anything. I don't count calories, but I try to make sure I don't eat something that's extreme, like an extreme amount of calories. Now, all the guys on the show, they always come and tell me and Ronnie behind your back that they can't have anything for lunch or anything like that, that you're not there just to finish it up. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what it is. Billy could have the lettuce left over from his sandwich, and you'll offer to eat it. It's yeah. I still I'm not very picky, and that's another thing that sort of helped. I would eat anything and everything, really. Yeah, he ate the uh, crumbs of my bologna sandwich before, and half a bag of Doritos that was left. Why do you? Why why can't you give him a real sandwich? Why are you handing him crumbs? <laughs> that's what I had left. Well, I couldn't finish it. And you were saying he would always eat like if you got Chinese food. He would eat the white rice that Why nobody eats. Why not buy eats. the kid lunch? You need lunch? No, it's... Whenever you're hungry, come to me. I'll right, buy you something, all right? One time he stole a dollar from me for breadsticks. I did pay... Why the... can't you give it to him? You're rich. I got nothing. I mean, if I had it, I'd give it to him. You got your communion money. I saw it on your bed. I need that. He keeps it in a boot from when he was five years old. 
An old cowboy boot. <laughs> Don't tell people about my boot money. I hope someone breaks in there and kills you. Like in Sopranos. Oh, you'll be sad. Like that old lady in Sopranos. It's like that smothered. You were no good as a kid and you're no good now. Fezzy, they're laughing like a zoo show. That means it's time for us to go. And it must mean we're done. All right, we will be back tomorrow at 7 o'clock right after Don and Mike. You know what? You get to say see it tonight, Harry. See it. Come on, like a thin person. Come on. Thinner. See it? <laughs> Not weak. Thin. I curse you. Thinner. Howard Stern, Don and Mike, Bill O'Reilly, Ron and Pez, and the Washington Redskins. 106.7 WJFK.